Now we're going to look at how we go about framing our shots. That is, how do you arrange the different elements within your actual shot um, in such a way that it makes sense? Um, we're going to use the example from our Red Cross PSA um, throughout this little um, video here to give you an idea of what you need to do in relation to framing your shots. First off, you need to be aware of what different type of shots there are. You can be further or closer to your subject, and you can see here on this screen, it gives you an idea of the different types of shots that can actually appear. So if we take in a shot of a person which includes their head right down to the feet, it's called a full shot. You go through the medium, full, the medium shot, tight, medium, close up, clump, um, loose close up and extreme close up is a very, very close in one. So we'll go have a look at each one of these through our, from our PSA example. The next thing to be aware of is what we call the rule of thirds, is that when you um, frame an object or subject or your actual frame, you want to try to put the subject not smack bang in the middle of your actual frame, but instead you need to put a little one of the liners of the thirds. So you can see the black lines here in this image are actually um, like a tic-tac-toe or a noughts and crosses grid. And where they intersect is actually the strongest points to actually put a subject. So you can see here this little silhouette of a boy in the clouds in the background that he is upon what we call the left hand third and you have the right hand third and you can be in different locations so we're going to look through the rest of this here at some PSA um, examples we're going to look at first off the actual shot type as well as how they're actually situated within the thirds so here you can see that we actually got a medium full shot is that we can almost see all the actual child involved there um, we've got a head down to about the knees if we all have a, also have a look here, we can see that her head, which is the subject, we're taking a photo, um, an image of an actual person, the head is the subject, and the subject is along that top rule of thirds, line of thirds there. Now we actually have the medium shot, which is from the waist up. Um, and again, we have the different parts of the object, but the subject is the boy who's talking to the camera on the left hand, the right, left hand side there. So if we look that the subject again is along that line of thirds so he's on the left hand line of thirds there and we have a tight medium moves in close and we can't see the girl's waist so therefore this is getting a little bit closer in um, and if we look again this girl is on the right hand line of thirds and her face is on that intersection which is a really really strong point um, we've got a loose close-up which again is about the waist upwards um, or above the waist upwards there and we can see that the boy here is approximately on the left hand side of um, the left hand rule of thirds line of thirds a really important thing is that he's not in the middle of the frame now we've got a close-up we can just see the head and we can see that his eyes and when we get this close and we're no longer looking at the subject of the head because the head's pretty much the entire photo so then in that case the eyes become the subject and the so eyes should be going along the rule of thirds which is line of thirds but you can see the top line of thirds is a beautiful example there and finally, we've got an extreme close-up, which is you can't even see the person's top of their head. You can just see their chin and their eyes. And again, those eyes are above, better close to the rule of thirds and the top thirds there. So in all that, being aware that um, the shots that you choose actually have also an impact upon the audience. So the further away, the less intense. And if you want to get more and more intense and have more important, more important messages, you move closer and closer and closer in. So the extreme close up is the kind of most intense kind of statement. The most important message is done in that. And that is um, almost like a punchline to the joke in that way. 